it's all done through relationship. It's not um, a picture in a, a pamphlet or in a brochure. Um, it's somebody I've met and that I can go home with a picture of now and talk to the kids about their story. It was actually an opportunity to make a link with a school where we could actually make a difference to those children's lives. And then just before we left, he asked me if he could have a tennis ball. And when I gave it to him, it looked like I'd just given him like a million pounds. Some of the key values that connect with me personally are empowering our children to be able to do something to make a difference. And certainly at St Helens, our children have have had many opportunities to do that and have really enjoyed the work um, that they've done with EduKid in terms of fundraising, they've done lots of research, it's empowered their own learning and motivated them. Um, it's certainly given them a greater appreciation of citizenship through the, the curriculum that we're following. They uh, also love learning about the people and love talking about the similarities that they have and what they have in common and this programme has, has really helped them to realise how similar they are to so many of the children that I met on my travels. Um, but it's also helped them to realise how, how difficult um, life can be for them. And I think that's, it's made it really clear to those children what they're doing in school directly affects um, the, the children in Uganda. One of the representatives from EduKid came in and actually had a meeting with me about the fundraising, which was really great. It was an opportunity for us to brainstorm really creative ways of raising funds for this valuable project. So the programme has, has helped them to realise that they're, them doing a fruit stall, them wearing non-school uniform um, isn't just an empty gesture. It's something that, that really affects individuals, affects the children that I met and um, it helps them to realise that they're making a real difference. So we're always trying to very actively think of ways to fundraise and make a difference and to get our parent community involved as well. And actually it's very, very easy. It's about little and often, it's about creative thinking and it's about active participation from all. The best bit outside of the school is when we went on safari. We got to see the sunrise across the plains and then we saw a lion and it was only a few metres away from the car which is really amazing just to see this really powerful animal so close up. The, the beauty of the place, uh, the Nile and the animals we've seen on safari, um, but more importantly the people that we've met along the way, uh, from the drivers that have taken us everywhere to the welcomes that we've got at the school and, and the children and the teachers that we've met in the schools as well, just wonderful people. When you go home from this kind of experience it will definitely change you. You learn that we're really lucky where we live with all the opportunities that we get and just kind of makes you realise that you need to take more of them. Um, we get school so easily and a lot of people in our country moan about having to go to school, whereas here we saw so many people begging us to help them get to school. The programme fits in with the curriculum. Um, it addresses aspects of globalisation, of citizenship, of PSHE, of geography and certainly aspects of, of RE in terms of learning about and valuing beliefs and cultures um, in other societies and celebrating similarities and differences. So the benefits for the curriculum are immense. My uh, experiences in Uganda have been um, a really rich source for lessons in, uh, in Key Stage 2. Um, it's obviously helped us to, to look at topic work and and talk about Uganda as a country, but also in terms of PSHE um, and thinking of children as, as global citizens, um, uh, not just in their local community, um, but thinking about uh, their responsibilities worldwide. Um, and that's, that's been really, really useful. I think one of the lovely things about our partnership with Uganda is that they will be at the same phase in their primary education as our children now and will actually move through their school career at the same time, sharing opportunities, making links, discussing learning. Um, and I think that's, that's really, really special for our children because they can actually have a relationship with somebody who is the same age and forge those links. I'd say first of all visit see who you're going to be helping and how it's going to help them and then you won't really have any doubts that you need to be helping them. To know that the, the work that my children at, at school at home have done that 
the fruit that they've sold, the jumble sales that they've done, is going to raise the money that sends her children to school and offers them the chance to, to further themselves and have a brighter future is a really amazing thing.